How are we doing guys? Just thought I'd make a quick video just for the best uh, trading apps, well, investment apps for beginners um, in 2020. So I'm just going to go with all the five that I actually have used or do use uh, or have at least looked at. So my main app that I use the most for investing with is Trading212. It's got a really nice, easy to use interface. You know, you can... Uh, have a look at your graphs there. It's quite simple, quite easy. Shows a bit of company detail, which you can expand on. Uh, shows dividend yields and stuff like that. So it's got all your information in there. Uh, it's got your income statement, your balance sheet, the cash flow. So yeah, uh, it's probably my favorite one. Uh, not gonna lie, you can make your own uh, watch lists, your own short lists of things. Then next up, we've got Free Trade, which is the one that I started with. Um, it's not great, because as you can see, I've got a little bit of money of Austin Martin there for the kids. I'm going to build them a portfolio. So basically, uh, there's not a great range of stocks on um, Free Trade. There's no CFD option. The price you buy it and the price you sell it can vary uh, quite significantly, actually. It's like, the, it's like when you press buy or sell, they wait for the best thing for them and then release the funds. Um, so often you could, you know, you could try and buy something or sell something, and it's you get a lot less than you expected back. Uh, but yeah, it's so again, it's an easy to use app. Uh, like I say, it's not got many options on there, but it's uh, mainly US and UK stocks, if not all. So yeah, we've got that. Um, we've got HL. Now, HL, I've not actually got an account set up with these yet, um, but my partner has actually got an account with HL and, and got a fair bit in there, which I set up for her. Um, but yeah, again, I mean, things like Feast, which we've heard me speak about quite a bit recently, then on there, for example. Um, it's very simple. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. That's why I downloaded it and never used it. So I won't go any more into that one. Uh, oh, by the way, HL. The charges are ridiculous. If you're not paying big bucks, like at least a thousand pound, that the charges take take like thirty quid off you over the trade when you buy them sell. So you have to make you know a few percent before you've even sort of broke even. Not to mention the spread. Uh, next up, we've got in, uh, interactive brokers. It takes forever to just to log in. Uh, I've already pre-logged in for this video for that purpose. Uh, it took me ages to set the account up. It was really frustrating. Every time I was trying to sign up, I was I was putting my details in, pressing sign up, and then it was taking me to uh, like an error page. So I had to change browsers in the end. That was how I fixed it, which I shouldn't have to really do, to be fair. Um, and then I've never used it since. They've got a lot more to choose from than some other brokers. Um, where is it now? I'm trying to fix it. This is, this is the problem with this. It's a bit too complicated for me. I'm trying to find a way to... Oh, there we go. Fund transfers. So you press fund transfers, then it makes you sign in. Now, I'm not going to sign in because I've actually seen my password <laughs> and you've got my username. So, cut a long story short, it's not very simple when you try, try and upload funds, which is why I've not... It's like it's not uh, for people in the UK, especially the, just the way they word... Um, I mean, usually it just says, a, uh, you know, your 40, 16 digit number or your, or your account uh, number and sort code, connect your bank, that sort of thing. Not that simple with IBKR, that's why I've not used in that, uh, interactive brokers uh, after all the trouble I've gone through, as, as much as I'd love to. It, I just gave up on it. So let's look at Stake, the final one. Now, because I've been trying to uh, buy Flying Eagle Acquisition uh, Corporation, and I've not been able to on 212. I downloaded this little beauty. Um, so I could buy that very app. So I'm in that on uh, for about $460, is it? Um, $430. So, yeah, it was worth it just to download it for this. The, the, the great thing about FEAC, Flying Eagle Acquisition Corp, is the bottom that it can possibly go to is... There we go, 9.85. It can't drop below that. Um, that's the shares held by the guys who created the company. And then it goes upwards from there after people start to buy. So if this company uh, does as well as they did, the same people did with uh, DraftKings, with DEAC, the Diamond Eagle Acquisition Corp, same people. 
Uh, I'm confident that, you know, I can only lose, uh, what did I get it at, 10.55, I averaged up today. Mm. I can only lose like, you know, 70, 70 cents a share. It's a risk I'm willing to take, we'll see what happens in the long term anyway. So yeah, I, I got this app especially for that. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link uh, for a free share if you'd like to sign up to Stake, which is the app I'm on now, and also for Trading212. So if you wanna sign up to these two, you'll get a free share and so will I, so you'll be also supporting me. Uh, if you like this video, if it's helpful to you, please leave, I can't even speak properly today. Please leave a like and do it, subscribe and the bell icon um, and I'll update you with any further videos. I try and update daily. Uh, this is a new channel, so yeah, got to keep that, uh, that rhythm going. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.